this is Dorothy Simon sitting in for Jim Blakey over here at the Sandyland Center uh, on Channel 3 coming to you from St. John and Maxville and today it's Monday November the 4th the start of a whole new week and the time is going by very rapidly as we enter in that busy season Thanksgiving is just around the corner and before you know it Christmas will be here. But the weather for today. There's a roving storm system uh, that's predominant. Uh, that's the weather pattern for today and for most of the week. It is moving through from the Rockies and it's providing um, light snow and rain. In the Midwest it provides a cold front with light rain and showers for today Monday and tonight and Tuesday uh, this storm system from the Rockies um, reaches um, the plains uh, causing rain and storm um, and snow in the northwest of Kansas but it will mostly rain in our area um, we won't get too much of this um, the snow but right now in the square, if you look up, the sky uh, cloudless. They're beautiful blue with no clouds in sight. And there's a soft westerly wind coming in at 8 miles per hour. And it is a pleasant 53. It sort of feels a little bit cooler like that than that, though more like 45, 46. And for the next six hours, it will remain sunny and windy with rain, with winds coming from the north, northwest at about 15 miles per hour. And the temperatures will warm up to a high today of 63 with a 55% relative humidity and a low tonight of 46. And there will be some clouds coming in tonight. It will be partly cloudy this evening with late, some late showers expected with about a 50% chance of rain. Tomorrow, Tuesday, though, expect a 100% chance of rain. And, and thunderstorms with the winds coming in from the south at 17 miles per hour and with that sort of um, forecast the humidity will be up 80s, 80s, 85s, 90s even as the storm moves eastward from the Rockies bringing in the season's first snow to some parts. We've had a little bit but others will see their first snow tomorrow. Um, the high tomorrow is expected to be 56 and the, in the evening hours, nighttime lows will be 35 with a 100% chance of rain tomorrow and tomorrow evening. Wednesday, we can expect it to be mostly cloudy uh, with the winds coming in from the south at 17 miles per hour. Gets a little bit cooler as the highs will only be 50s and the lows 30s and just a 20% chance of rain on Wednesday. Um, in our community, tonight at the Sunflower Center, it will be the regularly, they have a monthly supper, and tonight, tonight on the menu, it's soup, um, a ham and bean, uh, ham and beans will be served, and um, just bring a salad or a dessert, and everybody is welcome. So that is tonight at the Sunflower Center. It's their regular monthly soup supper. And it starts right at 6 o'clock. Tomorrow, we want to remind you about the Maxville Christian Church. They're having their soup supper at, um, at 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock. And they will be serving um, chicken noodle with homemade pies. And they have a, a raffle for a 100% meal bundle. And the tickets for those raffles are only $5. And um, if you need your meals delivered, you can call 620-348. 3205. So please go out and support the ladies over at the church over at the Maxville Christian Church 
at 6 o'clock tomorrow, 620-348-3205 if you need your meals delivered. They'll be happy to do that. Um, we just want to wish some birthdays today. Um, tomorrow it will be Mark McCandless's birthday. And on the 6th, it will be Rex Harrison's, Ho Hoskinson's birthday. And on Friday, last Friday, if you didn't see Brett Wood or Christy Garcia, that was their birthday. So wish all these people a happy birthday in their community if you see them. And also last Friday, um, there was a beautiful um, moving ceremony, memorial ceremony, or service was held for Dorothy Ann Casting at the First United Methodist Church here in St. John. She was a lifelong benefactor of this center, the Shepherd Center. And the center was actually founded by her father, Mr. Keith Keeley, and some other mes members. The, Gilles the Gillespie's family is very uh, prominent in that formation too. Um, but Dorothy and her husband um, Leonard uh, were dedicated people to the Shepherd Center and they donated several years of, of service and to the management and the finances, the financial running of the center. So she is sorely missed and our sympathies go out to her brother Kyle and nephew Steve. Our sympathies and our prayers go out to the remaining family members. And she was really loved and we will miss her dearly at this center. She volunteered so many hours to make this a going success. November is a busy month. But November uh, has been designated the Diabetes Awareness Month. Um, the, American, the American Diabetes Association designated this month to bring more awareness to understanding diabetes. Um, what are the repercussions if you have the disease um, over a long period of time? and how to prevent and manage type 2 diabetes. And here are some interesting stats on diabetes. Nearly 2 million Americans, adults and children, have diabetes. And another 70 million are pre-diabetic or at risk for diabetes. And by the year 2050, 33% of the population will be diabetic and two-thirds of the diabetics will have heart disease. Diabetes is a leading cause of kidney failure. Up to 70% of diabetics have nerve damage and, and amputations are 10 times higher in diabetics. The national cost of diagnosed diabetes in the US runs over 245 billion dollars per year so that one-fifth 20 percent of our health care dollars go to taking care of diabetics internationally diabetes is the fastest spreading disease and WHO which is the World Health Organization has declared it as a global pandemic. It's that um, far-reaching. These are some sobering statistics, um, but because the disease is not infectious, it can be helped by proper education if we know more about um, the disease and how, how it is caused, we can take steps to lessen the impact of the disease and, and start adopting practices that can reverse in some cases um, the diabetic trend and we can sort of turn back the clock on diabetes for the whole nation. So do be aware, look out for 
more stories on diabetes in the news and we will try and keep you up to date on what's going on that for, but for this month it's the Diabetic um, Association Awareness for Diabetes. And as the weather is changing rapidly around us, don't forget to get your home winterized. Uh, look to your roof, look uh, for missing shingles, cracked flashing and broken overhangs, and get those outside repairs done. Get your exterior checked for foundation cracks, check how spots, those spots in your foundation and get those repaired and get ready for the winter. Check your heating systems also and make sure you call the people to change whatever needs to be changed, change your filters and whatever. Just get ready for the winter, that's what we are trying to say. So, mark your calendars um, over at the Senior Center. We mentioned tonight's happening, uh, the supper, but later on this month, on the 7th, there's a Discovering More of Stafford County. The, there will be a lunch at Mom's, the bar and grill at Mom's, and the bus is going to be leaving the St. John um, Sunflower Center at eight, 9 o'clock in the morning, 9 a.m., and you'll be able to have lunch in Seward at about 11.30 a.m. And 1 o'clock you could shop some more and then back at the center for 7 o'clock. So the bus will take you all around Stafford to that and maybe some other sites. So mark your calendars for Thursday, November the 7th. And call over the center if you wish to go. And that's only $7. $7. And then on Monday, there's a trip to Dodge, um, the city casino, or you can go shopping on at the Main Street in jo Dodge. And the bus, they will be leaving at 8 o'clock on Monday and leave Dodge at about 2.30, 2, 3 o'clock. So mark your calendars for that one too. The cost is only $10. And then on the 31st, the Barton Theatre student has a production of The Magical Christmas of Mistletoe, Kansas. That sounds very interesting. And they, that's an evening affair. The bus would be leaving at 4.30 and they will have supper at Easy Street. And the cost for that is $22. So call over the center. I'm sure there will be a lot of takers for that. So call early and get your name on the list. And all that is at the Sunflower Center. And, sorry. For today, over at the Sunflower Center, we have a Hungarian pork chop, we have seasoned noodles, buttered chuck wagon corn, fresh vegetable salad, jellied fruit cup, and all your fixings of tea and coffee as usual. And tomorrow it will be pepper steak, steamed rice, seasoned winter mixed vegetables, green salad and dressing, and a lemon bar. And on Wednesday it will be Salisbury steak, um, steamed broccoli, baked potatoes, sliced tomatoes, green pepper salad, cream pudding, and all your fixings. That sounds very appetizing. So please don't forget to call if you do need a hot meal they will be happy to have it delivered for you and our, our food for thought today our food for thought today is actually a spice for life and our spice for life is cinnamon and cinnamon this is a common spice and it's mother nature's glucose um, healer and the magic compound in cinnamon is MHCP, a polymer, which speeds the conversion of glucose into energy, uh, quickly moving any excess glucose out of your bloodstream into the cells where it's needed. And it works pretty much like insulin. 
And cinnamon has also a lot of antioxidants, which helps to block the formation of, of free radicals that causes inflammation. So it's a great anti-inflammatory, and it is helpful in all sorts of diseases, heart disease, um, dementia, cancer, and it stops the buildup of plaque if you have um, blood vessel disease. It helps to fight Alzheimer's and other cardiovascular diseases, heart attack and stroke. So get cinnamon happy today and just sprinkle it um, all over your foods. A teaspoon of full of, a teaspoonful of cinnamon every day will reduce blood sugar levels if you have type 2 diabetes. And you can dust it over yogurt, sprinkle it on oatmeal, and blend it with brown rice, um, and just add a spoon of cinnamon to your coffee pot and you can get a wonderful, delicious aroma and exotic smell. So cinnamon is our spice for life today. Get happy with cinnamon.